Hello world, this is Cinema Stuff, and I'm here to talk about Playing for Keeps. This is a rom-com of sorts that came out in 2012, and it's... I do remember seeing the trailers for it at the time, but I never saw it in theaters, I just saw it recently for the first time on Netflix. So, uh, Playing for Keeps, as I said, is a, a rom-com of sorts. Um, it stars Gerard Butler and Jessica Biel. And this adorable little kid, uh, I think his name, if I remember correctly, was Noah Lomax, uh, or something like that. Um, and it starts out with Gerard Butler being this former um, soccer star whose career ended with an injury, with an injury, <sighs> career ended with an injury, and he is living in Virginia which is where his ex-wife and son are living. And basically he's this unemployed bum who somehow still has a house and a car. I don't know. <laughs> I guess he's living off of whatever. Um, at one point you see him trying to sell his old memorabilia. Um, but anyway, um, so... Okay, so the reason I say it's not exactly a, a rom-com is that most of the movie, it's not until the, kind of the very end that he really, um, it makes any clear moves to try to regain his ex-wife, just played by Jessica Biel. Um, a lot of the movie is just kind of setting up his character, um, you hear verbally that he was this kind of um, ladies' man um, back during his glory days, but um, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So he, he stumbles into this position as soccer coach for his son's team because um, he wants to impress his wife and be a bigger part of his son's life and whatever, and I hope they pay him for it because, again, he doesn't have a job, and he's behind on his rent and all that. Um, but anyway, so he becomes the soccer coach, and it's kind of this string of um, situations, compromising situations that he's thrown into because there are these um, very needy, very um, seductive soccer moms <laughs> on on this, who come to the soccer games, and it's, I wouldn't call it, well, actually it kind of is an all-star cast, because you've got, um, in addition to Gerard Butler and Jessica Biel, you have, um, Dennis Quaid, and, um, he's not a soccer mom, but he's a soccer parent, and then his wife is Uma Thurman, and, um, Judy Greer, and Catherine Zeta-Jones, and... So, the character, Gerard Butler's character, as I said, he's thrown into these compromising situations, but also he, like, he doesn't try to bring them on himself, but then he doesn't try hard enough to stop them, and so he's not really a good guy in terms of um, trying to get his wife back, ex-wife back, um... And there is, I, th I think it's rated PG-13, there is implied sex, um, but nothing graphic. Uh, so parents, whatever, should be fine with that. Um, yeah, overall though, it did, it did keep me engaged. It did have funny moments and some sweet moments and, you know, a good mix. Uh, but, uh, but as I said, not he's, he's not like, it's not that he's a dislikable character, but he's just, I guess, kind of contradictory, I guess, um, in terms of they say, oh, he's such a playboy, and they also, and then he says, oh, I'm not gonna, you know, sleep with these ladies, and then it's kind of this back and forth. Um... But it's got a cute ending, and I said the the boy in the is adorable. The and the father son. It's more about the father son relationship really than about getting back together with the ex wife. 
but it did keep me entertained, and so I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. This has been Cinema Stuff, and I've been reviewing Playing for Keeps.